Did you, did you at any point feel you wanted to end it all? Your own grandmother said the only thing you are better than is a grave. Uh, your friend Yakubu has run away. Um, did you feel like ending it at any point? Yes, on several occasions. What we are doing? My transition from SHS. Mm -hmm. to the tertiary my father insisted i should go to the training college mm -hmm. and i said there were a lot of teachers who were related to the family so i want to go to tertiary and my father became disinterested there somebody told him that uh on my university mm -hmm. i won't get a job and then i didn't mind them i went to buy a form do this no more that he calls me well quality laboratory technician i went for the interview interview no muna the editor papa bc on veggie uh what do you call it uh, original copies of our certificates in the way certificates no bedroom is soon and i was like no are you sure you were invited for this interview and i said yes I had the invitation to come for this interview. It was okay. Me try no one call inside, no one call visa to confirm. I was like, ah, why? Mm -hmm. I said, no, lab, no, it has to do with uh, handling of uh, equipment. And I said, ah, I did chemistry, physics, and biology. And I was always in the laboratory. Why are you, how is this one different? Okay, or by, you know, I was completely demoralized. To the extent that uh, I had to struggle to even mention my name before the panel because now some level of prison. See me back if you me call father her our uh, mission house. I go to commerce and or say uh admissions in Yako. I should wait till the following year or no other one will catch us to me papa. When I left father's place, I decided to walk in the middle of the road mm -hmm. with the hope that I'll just be hit by a vehicle and that will be all. Wow. So I was there and then one uh, Musa who taught me in primary school, he was coming with uh, his bicycle and he shouted, what are you doing in the middle of the road? Can't you see the cars are passing? And I did my, so he stopped his bicycle and came and helped me and dragged me off the road because I felt that my school school, what was I going to do? I was left alone to face my future. and. People that I thought they should know better were rather more discouraging and other things. Then, and I made a me into her view. Then I went to school. When I was in uh, tech, Oko tech. Some, yes. Who could see then were tech? Yeah, me actual science were tech. Hey, I'll be on. Anyway, meet you. Uh -huh. Yeah, me actual science were tech. Mm -hmm. So on some holidays, I was in Accra, and then uh, I had not finished paying my fees. Okay. And it was like that uh, because of the 1994 conflict in the north. Yeah. My dad was also completely down. So who else? This is the only person who has trust in you, and my auntie. My auntie too had his case, her case in John Tay, and then her family had just moved to the tertiary level, and a teacher. And also in the bed in our doors. I just thinking about it, and we wrote exams, and they said, if you didn't pay your fee, we're not going to publish your exams. Mm -hmm. Now, we call and so me who anything about my performance in the previous semester. Mm -hmm. So I was with a cousin at uh, uh, Teshinungwa uh, area, who he was a, a police officer. So one day I said, no, I don't think I need to continue in this direction. So I went to a shop and I got myself a drug. But when I got back, something done on me. <laughs> this cousin is an orphan. It was through someone's benevolence that he got to join the Ghana Police Service. So something happened to me under his roof. How was he going to survive it? Yeah. Then I thought about that. In took a toy drawer pharmacy shop, so be cool. Yes. Right. It, it, it was just without going to school what were they what in the house they wouldn't if you are over you so be best mouth say what to get any bremen or any home say you mommy and any home 
you were not part of any other thing. The only thing of which my name is Obeku School. That was the only thing that I could get myself involved in. So every maybe you know, I feel like no, our society was not adequately placed to uh, provide support systems for persons with disabilities because uh, yeah, it's not about bread and butter. It's not always about money, but to just know that somebody is there for you. Wow. And it gets your level, it seems that nobody cares. Uh, you, were you, were, you, were, you were depressed, eh? Yes, so much depressed. And, 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 and I think I, I just, my mom was more depressed than me. And Kwame, let me tell you that I seriously suspect that my brothers have held back the cause of my mommy's death from me. On that very day, 9th September 2010. And now, Mommy, we are. Yeah, my mom had her breakfast around 9 o'clock. And my sister left for the store. And in less than 15 minutes, oh, come and see what your mom was doing. And my mom had passed. When I went and I started, there was a young girl living with my mom. That girl was moved from the house almost immediately. Up to date, that girl has not come to us. She's gone back to her mom. Then I was asking. Then a woman told me that my mom had earlier on sent the guy, girl to go and buy her a, a credit group. And the girl went to the market and didn't buy And she was angry with the girl. The fully market day, she went to the market herself. And then the next market day didn't come. If you put pieces and pieces, bits and pieces together, which means she, 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 she was like that because, like... You mean your mother committed suicide? That is that has been my suspicion. And nobody in the house has been able to tell me categorically that that was not what happened. She was so depressed. Yes. You're... So, uh, uh, Banis, uh, caregivers, you know, and I hear from you know, we go through a lot of things. The, 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 the level of anxiety and, 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 and the future looks very blur. <laughs> to me, at a point in time, I just give myself the consolation you know, so long as I can read. And my lecturers will see a mark and I get higher mark. Let me go to school. So if anybody asks me, my motivation of climbing the academic ladder, it was just that that was what, where I felt I was accepted, where I felt I belonged. Mm -hmm. Because it is only when you have something better to offer your colleagues by way of explaining to them what they didn't understand when the lecturer was teaching. That was why they saw you as somebody. But when they are going for their uh, <laughs> nightclub, they are going for... Oh, on, uh, no, 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 they are going for their own They are for their own They are going for their own with the class, no more back. This slide, this lecture, uh, Dr. Sumi, uh, solo model, no me chance here. Can you explain? Oh, explain also. That is the only time you get thank you. <laughs> Quick one, and now we a regional minister for OT region. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you're doing your PhD, and okay. And my submitted me, me, me final paper, so I'm just waiting for the standard examination. PhD in what? Finance. Oh, we a problem child. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we a problem child. Why a physics, chemistry, biology, a PhD in finance? Curious science. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, I curious <laughs> science. <laughs> and a PhD in finance. <laughs> Just a beyond what being. But um, Joshua, I hope I can call you Joshua. Um, yes, you me, 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 me no is um, the issue of physically challenged people. And send your mind gun, I share some I wanted to use you as a poster boy, as a role model. Um, finally, finally, I didn't have a chance to anyone can say you. PhD in finance, uh, degree in actuarial science, physics, chemistry, biology, and all of that. OT regional minister. Mm -hmm. So, Obi will cut through BBC more. I didn't have a catch on. Your disability is near the end of our life. A the first thing I said to Obi is to accept that. I have limitation in doing some certain things. Mm -hmm. But there are other things that make you may even with my limitation. You always look for the alternative and focus. 
Oka Mrs. Sana or Hono. Yes. And your politics in here. I was playing football for the Black Challenge. That's the Amputee Soccer Team. Oh, really? My, yeah, my ball match was my uh, Abona against Ghana Post Ladies and other things. But politics in the Mimbe Munina, I said, 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 I then you look out for what as an alternative and mm -hmm. focus on the alternative to build yourself. Going forward, the society will buy you back at a higher price mm -hmm. than they sold they, it is sold you. But if you also decide to allow the stigma to sink you, to just look at what others are doing that you cannot do, up, you become completely devastated. And if you don't take care, you even commit suicide. But then, our society too, uh, Chairman. Yes, sir. Menu uh, can say, mm -hmm. an institution like University of Ghana, yeah. where in a year you can admit over 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 uh, students. So at least that quota of maybe 10 or 20 persons with disabilities. So government gives you scholarship before you yourself as a university can train them. Good question. If we have that, then Oko University, sir, and some other public spaces, sir, they will write, no taxes allowed beyond this point. So, I am in my clutches. I, I, I am in a wheelchair. Then we get to the gates, and then, uh, uh, the, what do you call it? Uh, a place like uh, the University of Ghana Business School. Uh -huh. We get to the gate. Now, the taxi is not allowed to enter. Is it so difficult that the University of Ghana can just issue students with disability some special ID card or even the school ID card. Just add another this is an indicator a person with disability. So that if that restriction will be taken away, you can show it and when you are on board the taxi, the taxi can move you to lessen your burden. Because yeah. some of these things make us feel excluded. Yeah. Seriously. Seriously. We'll continue this conversation. Of my MFO at the University of Ghana. Mm -hmm. I said I was not going for the graduation. I had to take a friend of mine to come and then took me in her car and then we went for the graduation. I because see. I felt that just like the business school, maybe because first tax to say because no man, there's no tax allowed beyond this point. Also, also not say Uber Nigeria. You sweat. Yeah. But now one month, so you will not be feeling comfortable. Now, I you. So me, I feel that in as much as persons with disability, they encourage you and say we can do something for ourselves. No? But then society also need. We don't need so big. That's those small, small, small things. Mm -hmm. Society should also do for us. And for those of us who think we don't have anything to offer, look, just smiling and giving a hug. To someone living with a form of disability is worth millions of what Ghana cities. Okay. You now the last time I said on your show that mm. when I got to University of Ghana to do my intro, the first year was actually a very tough year for me. The movement up and down. I did actual mathematics at the intro level when we're doing risk management and insurance. Mm -hmm. But the actual science professor, uh, Prof. Andor. Mm -hmm. He got to the point, he never called me Joshua, he did, never called me Makubu, Josh. And the way he tried to abbreviate my name made me identify with him. And then I could walk to his, uh, what do you call it, uh, office. So he gave me some consultation. No, there was somebody. Mm -hmm. Then Dr., uh, what do you call it, Eric Ofosuhini mm -hmm. came to add to my number of friends. And then my dean by then, uh, Professor Joshua Yidana was always someone that when we met, at least his demeanor showed that I was welcoming. I was welcome. Then Professor Boatin. So these are some of the things we need as we go along. It's not about money. It's not about favors. The last thing I'll ask from any for, especially if it has to do with the academic life, if I fail, fail me and let me rewrite. Never attempt to pass me because I have a disability. But at least make your lecture conditions for me and welcome for me. 100. Regional Minister OT Region Joshua Makubu, a.k.a. Josh. This FM 104.3 Good to meet